Look, I'm also trying to understand it, but at some stage, Pisces and the relationship with their hair, this becomes a very important talking point in their lives. They get miserable. They will sit with their hair and say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know anymore what to do with my hair. Hey? I don't know. And they reach this point where the male or female, where they, they it's an evolutionary phase with Pisces. When this starts happening, when you start itching, it's itching for growth. It's itching for new. It's itching for your individuality to come out. So this is why with the Pisces, you have extremes with the hair. They're either going full on flipping purple. You say, and now, Sue Ann, purple. With bleeding pink from the top, he murskont. What's happening? Did they crack a karmic egg on your head? What happened? Did the pineal gland leak? Why are you here with the purple looking at, like, like Barney the dinosaur? Huh? What's happening, Sue Ann? And they'll tell you. It's just, you know, they just, suddenly they keep cutting a fringe. Suddenly they have, suddenly they have a fringe. Suddenly the dude is looking like Drake. Suddenly he braids his hair. Suddenly he's growing his hair. Patience with the hair and Pisces is not something they have at all. To have patience is not something that a Pisces has when it comes to the hair. They get very irritable and so they do drastic things. They either want to cut everything off, get a new hairstyle. And then even if they get a new hairstyle, trust me, validation from outside is really the main thing. Don't let them tell you, ah, no, it's a personal thing. I don't care what other people think. No, they flip and care what you think. Let me tell you. They're bullshitting to you. I know Pisces in and out. They flip and give a damn about what you think. And if they hear just three, three, ooh, what happened? Ooh, that doesn't, mmm, a Pisces cuts it off. And then it's a crisis. Then it's a crisis. Trust me, they have existential crisis because of hair, Pisces. What I suggest to you, Pisces, is evolve and grow in places in your hair that you've never, ever gone to. Try and go organic for one year. No shampoo, no dandruff, because we all know you like using all the products. When you go to the salon, when you go, you like saying, oh, I have all these things. I try, well, try going organic with your hair once. Try using non-harmful products in your hair. Avocado, honey, oil great like conditioner slash shampoo but more conditioner for your hair i've tried it you can literally my hair growth journey yes like it was miserable hard tough but going vegan and plant but or rather plant-based watching my diet not stressing not using any chemicals or hectic stuff in my hair has allowed me to have a glorious evolution in a version of myself i never got to know and pisces is all about finding themselves they will always want this answer this existential answer to be you know resolved you know who am i what am i against everyone else so sometimes they do it at shallow purposes or shallow places like having this crisis with their hair but i offer you something bigger to understand the hair is a part of your nervous system and there's a bigger project or projection that's going on Keep this in mind when you're on the journey of hair. Be patient with your hair. Some of you want to grow out your hair. Grow it out. Find out who you are with long hair. Some of you want locks. Some of you want braids. Some of you want this style, you know, and you're a guy. Grow it out. Don't do what is conformed. Don't do what has been approved by the masses. You are Pisces. You're not there to conform to the masses. You're there to be yourself. And we have to take time to be ourselves. But I know time and you. Yeah, Pisces, it's not something that you have a great relationship with because Alice must be fast. Have a different reaction to time and see what happens. Don't answer only fast when time calls your name. Be variable, Pisces. Be variable.